Hello, greetings all. Today we are going to start with the first chapter that is Power BI. So let's see from where we can start with Power BI. You simply have to type into the browser Power BI and let's see if we will be able to download Power BI from here. So you see you have this website where you can sign in for free and also you have all the details and in the bottom you can see that you can download Power BI desktop for free. So now there are two versions. There is one uh, web version and there is one desktop version. Both are actually almost same but there are some feature differences in both of them. So they are not exactly the same. So what is the web version? Web version is available in the uh, cloud and desktop can work as an app. So let's click on the download button. Now it will take you to the actual app. Now here you can click on install. And it will start downloading and installing. It's a heavy app, so it will take some time. So we'll wait for it to complete. Meanwhile, try to create a free account. I think uh, you will have a trial account for 30 days. So you can meanwhile also create and log in here for free. And once it's downloaded, we'll see what all features we have. It's still 8%. So let's give it some time. Let's pause the video. Okay, so we are back again. So let's see the status of this Power BI desktop app. As you can see, it has now downloaded. Let's open it. As you can see, it mentions here it is uh, used for putting the visual analytics uh, of the data, uh, which means it uh, beautifully represents its data in a colorful manner, in a virtually pleasing manner with all these graphs. It's a heavy application. It takes some time to load. It takes some time to install. Let's wait for this one to open. And then we will explore what are the various options available in the Power BI desktop app. Now we will also cover the, uh, web, uh, the web service of it. Let's now just focus on the Power desktop app. So here we have it open, it's still loading. Uh, so the first thing first is, do you want to buy a license? Uh, there is a free version available. You can sign in version. Sorry, the screen has got. Let's wait. As you can see, it's saying formatting just got easier. Great. 
now I'm able to cross this one. So it's it's giving you just a tour view where you can collaborate and share, where you can sign in and all. So it's better to sign in. I just wanted for now you to see the features. Here the get data option is there. You can directly get your data from uh, Excel workbook. You can get it from Dataverse as I told you earlier. You can get it from SQL Server. There are many options as well and you can add blank templates etc. So go through these uh, options here. So these are basically helping you get your data. There are some transform queries which we can work on. I'll show them in the later chapters. Here also you can see uh, the different options for the visualization, the modeling option. Get yourself familiar with uh, the toolbar a bit and we will explore further. The view will give you a different view of the charts page view if you want to check the mobile layout. and. Uh, uh, on the left hand side you have the three options. This one is for reporting. Here you can see the data once we have entered it and here you can model and associate different relationships between those data sets. Okay. So uh, we will play with this uh, Power BI shortly. Uh, just getting the hang of it and seeing what is available. On the right hand side you can see we have filters. We have visualizations and we have fields. So these three are the main options that you will use. Mostly the visualizations to see how you want to visualize the data. And in the next chapter we'll uh, enter a small report and see how we can work with the vis uh, visualizations. How can we can filter it out and apply these different options from the top of the list. We will keep the uh, sessions short as I told you earlier. We want to uh, make it uh, a video in which it's easy to learn and grasp even when you have little to no time. So for now, closing this chapter, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.